Okay, this is a Voyager tarot card reading I'm doing for the month of May uh, for the sun sign of Scorpio. I'm just going to shuffle the cards up. There's 22 major arcana cards in the Voyager tarot. I'm just going to shuffle those up and then I'll just pick one at random. This gives the, the synchronicity that I need for the reading. Uh, let's go for that one. And it's the Tower card. Now Scorpio is a, a very internal based water sign and the Tower is about deconstructing things. So what this is about is about deconstructing yourself but it's internal. So just reinventing yourself is kind of how I would put it. So you've got a month where the theme is it might be forced from the outside or you might be volunteering to do something about particular issues and behaviours and ways of thinking that have been affecting your life so far. But this is a deconstructing on quite a large scale so it, it's a, it might be a bit disruptive, it may be, make you a little bit moody or it might be moodier than normal for Scorpios or it might make you a little bit cantankerous or a little bit oversensitive, but if you're doing deep internal work, which this is about, then that's just something that goes with it. You get sensitive to the outside when you're doing deep, deep, deep work, and uh, it's long-term work. It's not short-term. So if you're going to go ahead with doing something like this, then you need to be structuring things properly, put in some proper boundaries look at what you need to achieve in particular blocks of time so look at maybe three months time and then six months time then nine months time and then a year's time and then go through the following year in the same way and just look at what you're looking to achieve internally in terms of your behavior and your thought patterns and then see if if there's a way you can manage things and, and measure things so that you know that you're achieving particular things, particular behaviours, particular things in relationships that you're looking to achieve and get get a bit better. Uh, we may, may not get 100% right but learning is permission to make mistakes so give yourself permission to make mistakes and learn from them and listen to feedback that other people are giving you. So that's my reading for Scorpio for May and uh, if you've enjoyed the reading please subscribe to the channel. You can leave me comments and feedback underneath the reading, underneath the video if you're watching on YouTube or at tarotreading.tv. Uh, I do personal readings at the weekend for $10 and they cover three months. They're a similar format to this but three cards covering three months and the readings will last about five minutes. So thank you once again for your time, thank you for watching and I'll see you next, next month.